Hi, I'm Chrissy C. Well, one year ago exactly today, life changed for me. Um, I had a brain bleed, also known as a TBI, a traumatic brain injury. And yeah, life changed a year ago. And well, first of all, I'd like to thank most importantly my friends and husband who have been amazing support for me over the last year. And it has been a really challenging year and a lot of it we kept under wraps and a lot of it I kept under wraps. Um, but yeah, what happens, what were the challenges of a brain bleed? Oh my God, where do I start? Well, first of all, I mean, I came out of hospital and I didn't even know how to walk downstairs. I had to retrain myself to do so many things. Then we were hit with COVID, so a lot of my treatment plan went out of the window and that was pretty upsetting. Um, what else has happened? Yeah, massive memory chunks missing. So if so occasionally I'll go out and somebody will come up to me and I have no recollection of who that person is, which is really, really upsetting for me. And I've struggled with that probably more than anything. Um, terrible, terrible sleep patterns. I mean, I was always bad at sleeping anyway, but now it's even worse. <laughs> but, you know, you just have to accept these things. Erratic mood swings. Um, I never had them quite that erratic before. And I blame a lot of it on the menopause. <laughs> I get away with murder with that. Um, but it's been upsetting for friends and family who have had to witness certain things. Um, I tried to push boundaries by having a drink over Christmas. That went spectacularly wrong. So brains and alcohol don't always mix after a brain bleed, as I found out. But hey, you know me, I'll always push every boundary I possibly can. But that didn't work. So yeah, a lot of frustration. But I have join various brain injury recovery groups and that's been so helpful so supportive and it makes you feel that you're not on your own and we we banter ideas across and everything which has been really really helpful um, and I've spent the last year as well studying to become a reflective practitioner and that has been um, a, a massive journey for me it's been um, a journey that's opened up a lot of things in my past um, but it's been a hugely positive and very emotional journey. Um, and the bottom line is that a lot of people just need to talk, whether it's about things going on in their world, things they can't quite get to grips with, um, or they may just want to talk. And that is exactly what I've set up. And it is called Just Talk. And we are going to be a small team of three practitioners. Um, and we will reflect on things going on in your world and see if we can make a better you. So that's been a, a, a really positive part of this last year, if nothing else. And I have changed as a person. I have, And I have had to accept I've changed as a person. But hopefully, and I've learned to appreciate the smaller things in life now. It's not about the flash restaurants anymore. It's not about being with people that are flashy people. No, it's not. Nothing, none of that matters. At the end of the day, we all come into the world, we all go out of the world, and it's those people on your journey that matter. And the people that have been with me this last year will never know how important they are to me. And, you know, courage doesn't always just kind of rock up to you. Sometimes it's that little quiet voice at the end of the day saying, OK, I'll try that one again tomorrow. That's all I can say.